welcome everyone this is our next session of our online lessons which is cat and mouse chess game with scratch okay let's see uh, what we're going to do today here uh, do you guys remember the cartoon that we had uh, back then also now it's even there uh, the cartoon tom and jerry where the cat chases the cat is tom and the mouse is jerry where the cat chases the mouse uh, everywhere inside the house right so you guys remember this fun cartoon right there are like a lot of funny uh, sceneries are well there now today what we're going to do is we're going to make a game out of this cat and mouse chase game okay so we're going to uh, make a game out of this cartoon which is tom and jerry now here uh, this cat now here we have a cat and then there we have donuts and we have a mouse okay so the game works like this uh, the cat chases the rat uh, or the mouse around the screen while the mouse collects all the donuts right so that is what we're going to do to do that these are the things that we're going to need mit scratch the program that we are using today is mit scratch this is very similar to the microbit uh, programming that we did uh, you will see why lam explained in the lesson okay then we need going to need a laptop or a computer and then your creative thinking skills okay so those are the things that we need and let's see what we're going to do okay so mit scratch is like a programming language okay so online, online community where you can share your ideas while uh, looking at other people's ideas and improving yourself right so here i will explain what this uh, scratch mit is so scratch mit as an example i can say it's like a stage drama okay do you guys know about stage dramas or any teledrama or movies in a movie a actor get a script or some instructions are said to act let's say now uh, this is the uh, let's say uh, there's an actor who needs to cry so he he gets a set of instruction which is called the script to follow okay so he is following the instructions in the script to act and also there is a background right every scene does not take in uh, the same place no a funeral has to be in a place where it looks like a funeral right like that so scratch is also the same we have sprites or the characters which you can see in the left side of your screen uh, the cat and then in the middle we have the script or the set of instructions and in the right side you can see the output of the uh, uh, output of both the script and the character now we'll be using uh, scratch online editor this is the online editor i will be explaining more about the interface and uh, all the th all the options of this scratch uh, while the lesson is going on okay we have a set of code blocks as you can remember in microbit also we had set of code blocks right we had uh, code blocks and we had to uh, compile them together like building blocks to get something out of it right okay so this is very similar to that now the things that we are learning today we are learning th uh, about starting events okay so starting event is something like uh, let's say a clap in the ra clap in a race so when you are in a in the playground and if we need to start a race when you, where you run okay where, uh, when you need to start uh, a race what you do you either clap or you shoot a shoot that prop gun right when you hear the sound of the gun you start running that's how it works so a starting event is also something like that it gives out a signal to start the program it's like a start button in the game so when the start button is clicked the game starts right exactly what we are doing today also with starting events okay and then loops so loops whatever you put inside the loop will happen again and again sometimes forever this is a forever loop whatever you put inside it will happen again and again or we have another type of uh, loops called repeat until let's say rip, uh, jump until one o'clock so when when the time is one o'clock you start uh, you stop jumping right with a condition now those are called condition loops now then sense in tabs 
Now, as you can uh, remember, in games we have uh, sensors, right? That means uh, if the car hits a human, you lose the game. So that sensing, the uh, detection of collisions, those things are uh, done by sensing tab in Scratch. Okay. Now those are the things that we are learning. I will explain more. You will. Uh, this will be clear for you uh, while we are doing the activity also. Okay. How the game works? As I explained before, also we have donuts, we have a rat or a mouse, and we have a cat. Okay. So the mouse has to collect all the donuts before the cat catches the mouse. That's how it works. Okay. Now let's get started. Here, so these are the. This is the code that you have to. Uh, uh, this is the link that you have to go to in order to get Scratch MIT uh, editor. So copy this link, which is highlighted in light blue. Copy this link in your browser, and then you will be redirected to uh, MIT Scratch editor. Right now, you are in Scratch editor. This is the screen that you are gonna get. When you go to the link right now uh, here we have uh, in the left side we have the code blocks those are the set of instructions that we're going to use to get the output and here in the middle we have the uh, place where we're going to create the script right or the set of instruction that we need to do okay as an example i will tell you and here you can see the output of your code or the uh, final uh, results of your code okay now I'm gonna demonstrate how it works okay here I'm gonna say when I click the green flag let's I uh, I told you about the starting events right when I click the green flag the cat that means this guy okay I'm putting everything inside his script that means these are the instructions for the cat Okay, the cat should move 10 steps and then if he is on the edge, okay, I will tell you about all this once you are uh, done with the lesson, okay. If he is on edge, bounce. Now the problem, okay, now we will do it. He just moved 10 steps and stopped, right? Why is that? Because that is only one set of instructions. If we want him to keep moving, what we should do? We should put it him, uh, put this instruction in a loop. That means we have to say, don't stop unless I say so. Okay, so I'm gonna say forever. Forever, move 10 steps if he's on ba uh, edge, bounce. Okay, let's see. After putting the instructions together, I'm gonna press the green flag. Since that is our starting event here. It's moving, right? Exactly what we are doing today, but bit complex, but it's the same principles. Okay, now I'm gonna delete this code. We'll get started. So these are the categories of uh, our codes. We have motion here. These are in simple English. Motion means movement, right? Or something is moving. And then we have looks. Those are the message bubbles and stuff, right? We have the looks of the character we can change. And then we have sounds simply sounds and then events see starting events we can't always use the green flag now so we can use either uh, any of the keys we <coughs> have in the keyboard here we have the space key up arrow down arrow down arrow a b c d all the keys in the keyboard is in here so any of these keys we can use as a starting event or a sound or uh, a message see so many starting events are there now we have controls so these are the controls for the character it will repeat something or it will uh, decide whether to start or stop here it's a condition right if the uh, rat is uh, if the mouse is nearby run faster see like a condition sensing which i told you about here if he's touching the mouse pointer stop the game like that and then we have operators operators you remember from the micro bit lesson also you should have remember these are the mathematical operators so this value plus this value this value minus by this value things like that okay and then we have variables the places where we store our memories 
or something uh, important right and then we have my blocks my blocks are not important in our lesson so i'm not gonna explain okay now uh, then uh, here these are the categories in here we have the costumes of the characters okay we can give a different costume for our characters if you want i can change the color okay see i can change the color of the cat that depends on you okay you can wear keep the cat uh, orange i think or you can change the color and then we have the sound library we can add a sound or remove one okay now I go back to the code then we will start okay this is a sprite or the output where you see and this in the middle is the script we call it the script okay here if you select a sprite okay now you selected the cat when you select it it will show the name so you can either give it a name or keep the existing name here i will say cat see i can change the name this is the location of the cat uh, see what happens if i change this let's say now it's 67 i'm gonna increase it to 89 and enter it will move slightly to the right side so this is x left and right is x the same as a graph okay in a chart also we have a graph also we have a x and y axis no so here is also the same and then we have y we'll see what happens when i change the y value ah it goes up right that means y is up and down here we can either show it or not got it and then we have the size i can either increase it either decrease it and direction we can change the direction of the character here can you see what ha what's happening ah exactly it can change the direction of the character and then here you can zoom in or out the code so you can see better i will always be uh, zoomed my uh, code always will be zoomed because that will be easy for you guys to capture right and then here we have the character library so we call it the sprite okay now you guys must remember i told you the characters in the sprite uh, scratch game is called a sprite and we can look for a sprite or create a sprite that doesn't matter okay. here is also the same backdrop or the background for the game we are selecting it from here you will see how to use it once i'm uh, doing it okay now let's get started first of all what you have to do is you have to delete this cat so can you see this small uh, garbage bin icon once you click on the sprite and click on that the character will disappear but it no now in this game we need three characters three type of characters actually one is the cat we will look for a cat how are we adding a cat we go to the sprite library and go to the search icon i need a cat so i'm gonna search for a cat oh we have the general categories animal people fantasy dance music all the things are there so this is the cat i need so i'm getting that if you want you can use a different character or if i prefer to this okay now he's too big for the screen so what we do from here we can here is the size right so it's literally written in simple english so we can decrease the size let's say 60 you choose the size it doesn't matter okay but it should be suitable for the uh, screen if it is too big for the screen we have to reduce the size and then we need a mice mouse mouse one oh i see the problem the mouse is bigger than the cat okay so we have to reduce the size let's say 30 yeah it's too much 40 now ah, here we go it's a big mice okay now we need a donut let's get a donut so i'm doing the same thing right you guys got it no i'm going to this cat face and then choose a sprite going to the search icon and then from here donut do not i'm getting a donut okay again the size has to be decreased 
let's say 50 you guys can select the size right it doesn't matter the size doesn't matter but you have to select uh, appropriate size okay so the first thing that you have to do is give instructions to the cat uh, uh, the, uh, the cat okay so I'm gonna say uh, we have to keep the characters in a starting position right that means that every character should start the game in a uh, in a location where it doesn't uh, interfere with the game if the uh, cat start the uh, game near the mouse then it's hard for the player to play right because you, you will not have a head start you have to give the mouse a head start right so because of that I'm gonna keep the cat in a corner let's say okay now uh, guys you have to give this guy a location so to do that I'm gonna select the cat I'm gonna drag it to the corner of the screen I will tell you why okay so the code or the instruction we're gonna give him is when the green flag is clicked okay when the green flag is clicked go to this location this location is recorded here minus 183 minus 150 but in your computer it should be uh, changed okay it's not the same location always now when the green flag is clicked go to this location we have to say okay i'm gonna go to motion and gonna say go to x and y got it it's the same numbers right and minus 183 minus 150 that's it right now let's see how it happens how it works i'm gonna keep the cat in the middle and then gonna click the green flag oh see that's how it should work I'm gonna keep the cat in the middle when i click the green flag it will automatically go to this location you can change the location by typing the location or just removing this block and keep in the cat in another location can you see this is changing so if i get this and then now it's changed right when you keep the cat in a location it automatically recorded in this block now here i want him in this corner i kept him in in there i got the block again now he is in that location okay now that's it and then we have to say forever you have to follow the mouse okay uh, the, the mouse how we are doing that is you go to control you get a loop because this guy has to follow the mouse every time right not one time only so you have to point it towards now the first block i got it from okay i will do it again okay you go to events and get the when the green flag is click block and then the second one will be going to the starting position that means this i got the location by keeping the cat in the corner so this block is there i'm gonna keep him there and then i'm gonna add a loop because this guy has to follow the mouse all the time right now so it should point towards the mouse how we are doing that by going to motion okay i'm going to motion and point towards block there will be a block called point towards mouse pointer got it okay then he has to move uh, slower than the mouse right that's how games work no the con computer control characters are always slow so you have a chance of winning right otherwise it's hard no okay that is our code for the cat and we will move on to the mouse okay uh, just to see how it works i'm gonna start the game can you see it's following the mouse pointer see the cat is following the mouse pointer okay now the mouse how the mouse works now so here what we have to do is first thing we have to do the same thing as the cat right what is the same thing as a cat means we have to tell the mice to go to a location when the game starts 
okay so the same thing here also event when the green flag is clicked okay when the green flag is clicked go to this location I uh, will say the mouse should be here okay the mouse is here so as soon uh, as the usual thing the location is recorded in the block I'm just adding the block to here okay now if you want to change the location of the character while the game is going on you can do it by manually typing in the coordinates here now this is also in a forever loop I'm gonna say the mouse should forever point towards the mouse pointer that means the computer controlled uh, sorry the player controlled mice will be controlled by the mouse pointer so wherever you point the mouse pointer the mouse will follow it so point towards mouse pointer see see both of them are now pointing towards the mouse pointer but the mouse is not moving okay so we have to program that I'm gonna say point uh, move 10 steps now the mouse will be faster than the cat right can you see the mouse is faster than the cat okay now you can always run the code while you are doing there's no issue in that but if you are editing you have to stop the code from here okay the red button that is always easy okay then I'm gonna say if touching the cat then you say game lose you lose right if you if the mice is touching the cat you lose the game no so we have to use a condition if if touching the mouse if touching the mouse where did I get it if condition was inside control and sensing I'm gonna get the first block in that here mouse pointer so click here and click select who are we controlling now the mouse right so it's cat this is pretty easy because it's in simple letters uh, words right okay so here I'm gonna say if that happens if the mouse touches the cat you are losing the game so we have to say you lose for two seconds where did I get that? I got it from looks. You can type here, okay? Now it says hello, no? So I'm gonna click there and gonna delete whatever is inside. And you. Ah, sorry. Why are you? L double O C S E. You can select whatever you want to say when you lose the game, okay? Doesn't matter. And then it should stop all. If you lose again, the game stops through. No? Voila. Okay, now we'll test it out. Ah, you lose. See, stopped all. Now, next thing that we have to do is keep in the score. I will tell you about that later. Okay. Now we will get the donut and program the donut. So there's not only one donut, we have like several, okay? Okay, we'll do that. First of all, what we have to do is we have to tell the donut to show up when the green flag is clicked. Because when the mouse touches the donut, it should disappear and uh, reappear when you restart the game, right? So let's see. We're gonna go to events. When the green flag is clicked, the donut should be shown. Otherwise, it's just disappearing and not showing again. So the show button will be in looks. Here we have show. Remember where I get the blocks from? Okay, I got it from blocks. You can see the purple color is looks, and the orange color is control. Ah, uh, sorry, this yellowish color is events and orange is control okay so you can see the categories from the colors itself control then I'm gonna say 
Ah, then we have we need a scoring system, right? If the, if a certain score is uh, scored, then you win the game, right? Let's say I have five donuts. In this game, I have five donuts. So if the mouse eat all the five donuts, you win the game. Okay, that is simple. Now let's say we have to create a score system. How we do that? If you are creating a score system, we should remember the scores. So variables are the people who is remembering things. So I am going to make a variable. And the name will be score, right? We are going to give it a good name. So it is an appropriate name, right? We are keeping the scores by creating a variable. We are going to name it the score. Now, his name is score. So we, I went to the variables and went to make a variable, then gave it a name and then saved now we have the variable called score so i'm going to set the score to zero <coughs> sorry i'm going to set the score to zero when the green flag is clicked okay when you start the game the score should be zero right simple and then forever what should happen If the if the donut is touching the mouse, we should increase the score by one, right? If the mouse touches one donut, one mark you get. If you want, you can make it a ten. It doesn't matter. Okay. You go to sense in, and we say if the donut is touching the mouse. Change the score by one. That means add a uh, add one score. Okay, change the score by one. How did I change? Gave the name. I go to the. I went to the down arrow and select a score by one. Then hide right. So once once the mice mice touches the donut, it should disappear. So it should hide. The opposite of show. So it's in looks. Okay, it shows the uh, set score to zero, and then forever touching the mouse, hides increase the number by one. Okay, then we will go back to the first. Uh, sorry, we will go back to the mouse. Okay, we want to the mouse, and we have created the code here, but we have to give it a uh, winning score, right? So I will say there are five donuts, so I'm gonna duplicate the donut. Let's see how it happened. Uh, you right click on the donut here right click and then this duplicate option will appear so you click on that I'm creating five donuts and keeping in five places okay so you also do the same keep them in random uh, location so you can uh, it's good for the game no? right Otherwise, it's predictable always. Now, that's it, right? Now I'm gonna tell the mouse. If you collect all the five donuts, you win. How we say that? I'm gonna add a if condition after this. Go to control. If then. If. That is after this if section okay so you have to remember where to keep the blocks exactly okay keep them in the correct place otherwise the game will not work properly so we are using operators now to compare it if the score if the score where did I get the operator? Green category. Where did I get score? Variable category. Here. That means orange. They really should have given a different color for that, right? <laughs> Control and the variables are also in the same, similar colors. Now, if the score is equal to 5, then you win, right? So, you go to looks. You get a say hello block. I'm going to call it that. 
say you win for two seconds and it will stop it all where are we gonna stop all, uh, where are we gonna get a stop all button or a block that's in oh, I didn't stop the code right my mistake sorry and then stop all block in controls I keep him under here okay let's see now we will try out the game okay the guys you can can you see the whole code okay and the green flag is clicked go to X forever we're gonna we are putting this in different characters see in the cat there's a different code in the mouse there's a different code in the donut there's a different code okay so when you're editing one sprite you have to select it otherwise you will uh, program another character okay now that's it for this game now we will try it out see you can uh, expand the screen from here to get a better gaming experience right now you click on the go button which is the green flag one two three that is how you win okay now how you lose Voila. that's how you lose okay so that's it for today's lesson hope you guys enjoy this game because uh, you can this is not the only thing you can do right? there are many possible games in scratch if you uh, google this scratch games and you can also join this community right scratch is a good community to learn about uh, programming and game uh, designing so this is a very good start for you guys you can start the game like this uh, start building a game like this and you can move, uh, develop yourself and actually go into gaming uh, game development industry because in there also we'll, uh, they will be uh, using similar things like this I know it's very uh, advanced and stuff but this is a good beginning even for coding this is a good beginning for you guys right so don't stop from here try it out at home and see how it goes okay so if you uh, can try it out uh, if you try it out one more time yeah this is how you win eat all the donuts you can increase the uh, speed of the cat also by uh, changing the number of steps yeah okay so that's it so see you guys in the next session thank you for joining uh, the ignatis space online session